What's up you guys? Welcome back. So today I have a holiday gift guide for you. If you're like me and you haven't done your Christmas shopping yet, I'm gonna give you guys some ideas so you can get gifts for your mom, your dad, your in-laws, your cousins, your uncles, your brothers, your step siblings, literally everyone, you name it. <laughs> Do you guys remember that song? Anyway, um, but before we get started, I have such an exciting announcement, you guys. This video is sponsored by Osea. If you guys, that was me internally screaming by the way. If you guys know me, you know I am obsessed with the skincare brand Osea. They are cruelty free, vegan, gluten free, and they're just a clean skincare brand. And the ingredients that they use are super high quality and actually effective. I have had this on my bucket list, I'm not gonna lie, for like my goals for like the next five years. So the fact that it's happening now, it's just like, okay Jesus, like we're about to celebrate your birthday, but here you are giving me gifts on yours. So. Hallelujah, was so excited, so grateful. And so that's why this sponsorship honestly means so much to me because long story short, I started my clean skincare journey like a couple years ago and Osea was actually one of the first brands I used. I used their mud cleanser and it genuinely cleared my skin because I'm not gonna lie, sometimes clean skincare, you're like, mm is it gonna work it actually did and that's what propelled my skincare journey so i have a special place for oc in my heart and i'm so thankful to be working with them on this portion of today's video they sent me two holiday kids and that just kicks off my first gift idea which is skincare so Sorry, I'm not bumping to my tree. So the first kit that I got from them was an anti-aging kit. And what's great is first of all, these are kits that aren't like in a box and package. They're just like their products bundled together. So you save a lot of money if that makes sense, which I actually prefer because not only could you like mix and match and like give different things to different people and still save money, but you also like, if you're getting an anti-aging kit, for example, it's not like throwing shade if you give that to, you know, like your grandma or something because they won't know, right? So the first thing in the anti-aging kit is this ocean cleansing milk. You guys and this is just a creamy cleanser. It actually is supposed to take off your makeup and it just is really nourishing to your skin and it doesn't dry out your face. This is really good if you have dry skin. And then the next thing that comes in this kit is this oil. I don't know how to say this for sure, but Andaria Argan Oil. And this is gonna be great for your skin. Another thing to just hydrate, moisturize your skin and also reduces redness. It makes your skin just feel so like nice and moisturized. And then next it comes with their white algae mask and this is a face mask that's going to brighten your skin, tone your skin. You just put it on your skin for like 10 to 20 minutes, wash it off and your skin feels so, so good. I love this. I just used this the other day and it was so relaxing, you guys. And lastly, it comes with what I think is a holy grail product, the Advanced Protection Cream. You guys, this, it was this moisturizer that put me onto Osea. So I was actually hanging out with my friends, like I wanna say like a year or something ago, and we were doing just like a skincare night where we you know just try different products, moisturize our skin, blah, blah, blah. Have a girls night, right? And so at the end, we did masks, we did moisturizers and all of that stuff. She had this and she let us all use it. And I legitimately woke up the next day like, something is different like i genuinely felt like my skin was more plump and the lines had blurred out it was like a nice thick moisturizer but it actually soaked into your skin and it didn't leave you feeling greasy so i was like hold the phone what was that i need to know give me the name <laughs> give me the number she texted me this picture and i looked it up and i was like oh snap that's fire i'm not gonna lie it's expensive like straight up it is um this is like a hundred dollars i want to say and i know before you come for me this is what i realized it's not whether or not you can afford something, it's whether or not it's a priority to you. So for example, this stuff is two ounces. A moisturizer that I've also used is like 1.3 and I've been using it since July. So it's December right now, that's six months, I'm not even halfway through. But let's just say that this moisturizer only lasts you six months, like hypothetically, right? Divide $100 by six months, right? That's like, I don't know math, but I'm assuming that's like 16 to 17 dollars or something. And so that's legit just not eating out one day of the month. You know, like that's literally not going through a Popeye's drive through and then, you know, get ice cream after one time a month. So definitely worth it, definitely prioritize it. I love this moisturizer so much. My sister even gave me a gift card to buy and all of that stuff, but so glad Osea sent it to me because this stuff is the GOAT. It will change your life. If you know me, come over, try it. You know, I will put you onto this because it is so good. Highly recommend. And then the next kit that they got me was like a body scrub kit. And so it comes with 
this anti-aging body balm, which you guys, I am obsessed with. Look, I even have the empty bottle <laughs> right here because I use it all the time. This last me months, I am obsessed with this. It's a mixture between a body oil and a serum, and this is anti-aging. It's supposed to firm and tone and tighten your skin. Honestly, for me, I just love the way it makes my skin feel after a shower. I just feel so moisturized and hydrated, slightly shiny, you know what I'm saying? But then it just soaks into your skin and just feels so good. I am obsessed. I like don't use lotion anymore because I'm so into body oils and like serums and balms like this. So definitely recommend that. And then it also comes with this product, which is Salts of the Earth Body Scrub. So this stuff, you guys, is fire so one thing i've been really trying to practice in quarantine is treating your body how you would treat your face right so we exfoliate our face we know that we need to do that clean off the dead skin cells blah 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 why do we not do that with our bodies you know or maybe you do congrats i just had it you know and so i've been trying some body scrubs i recently tried this actually the other day after taking a bath <sighs> You guys, it was just such a luxurious experience. Like I wanted to cry, it was so good. That's the one thing I also love about Osea products, you guys, is they are spa quality. Literally spas use this as their line to service their customers. Like it is so amazing. The stuff smells so fresh and clean, like you just got to a spa and it is such a good experience. This legit has salt from the Dead Sea, pink Himalayan sea salt, and all these different body oils that are just gonna nourish your skin. Seriously, when I got out of the shower, I thought I had put a bomb on. I looked down and I was like, say it ain't so to me, this not ash you after the shower. Like, I'm the kind of girl who showers lotions, showers oils, showers serum. It's like right away, I don't play no games, I don't wait a second, I'm not about that. But after this, the oils in this left me feeling hydrated, but also the salt, you know, just scrubbed the dead skin cells off so you feel so smooth. It was amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend all of their products. I am so excited. And I just want to say really quick, the reason why I feel like this would make such a good gift for people is because the quality is next level. First of all, I mean, the packaging is so adorable. This is the stuff that you'd want to keep if you have like a master bathroom or like a guest bathroom. Like this is the stuff I think about where I'm like, that would be so luxe in a guest bathroom. Like I know I'm stocking myself with OCA products if I ever host people and different things like that. But also this is the stuff that you don't want to spend on yourself. You know, if you're really practical minded like me, you just think like, oh no, skincare is not a priority. But if we've learned one thing in COVID, I mean, you know, you could lose your job. They could take your house. The IRS can come for you. You know, all of these things could happen. But what they can't take away from you is your face. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I've been prioritizing skincare during this time. If you know anyone that's hardworking, never takes time for themselves, never gives themselves that self-care time that they need, you know, is always thinking about someone else, I think that this would just be such a cute gift to give them. Give them an ultimate spa day. Let them pamper themselves. So I highly recommend this. If you guys haven't checked out their brand, go ahead i'll have a link down below so you can just creep on figure out what they're about it's so cute they're like a family business so let's move on to the next gift idea okay so the next gift idea is barware you guys i am obsessed with my barware from crate and barrel i feel like they have the best wine glasses and so i have this one right here this is the level wine glass they have so many different types and collections so this is the red wine glass the level selection also has white wine glasses and then all-purpose wine glasses so this is huge you guys don't be fooled literally when you pour a glass of wine it just goes to there it is so big so i love love the size of this wine glass and then i also have these beer glasses from crate and barrel as well and these are such a good gift even if they don't drink beer i actually use these for cocktails and they have a really good rim so you can salt the rim pretty easily and i always put tahini on there and make margaritas like you can do so many different things with this glass and you guys they're so cheap these are like three four bucks i want to say and they also have a larger size as well so i think getting a gift like that if someone is just recently moving into an apartment Apartment or just like needing new glasses like these are really good put it with a glass of wine or give them their favorite bottle. yes sorry I'm just coming up with ideas now but how cute you if you got them like one of these or like a little wine glass set or whatever you want to do and then give them a bottle of their favorite drink like that is so cute and takes it a step up from just giving them wine you know so love that idea Okay, so next I have a few ideas on interactive gifts. The first thing that I have is this puzzle. 
and this puzzle is from anthropology they have really really cute puzzles this year this is actually not the one i'm gonna do i'm gonna return this one because i found a cuter one online i'll post it like here um and i actually had it shipped to my house in san diego so i don't have it for you to show but that's what me and my sister are gonna do i think getting a puzzle is so fun and especially since it's supposed to be in the house like this is another activity that you can do with your family friends get everyone involved and just like have a good time you know you guys me and my sister came up with a list of things to do because we're basically only going to be hanging out with each other because corona is getting worse and so we are making our house stay bomb and fun and we're literally doing events like every single day so one of them that we're gonna do is painting and so the kit that we're gonna do that i have shipped to my house in san diego is by a black owned business and it's called the amazing painting party they have really really cool portraits and that's what drew me to them is that you can do celebrity portraits they have adele beyonce rihanna michelle obama barack obama taylor swift like so many different artists you can either do like a large kit which is like about 50 dollars, or a smaller one which is 30 and the best part about it is you do not have to know how to paint to do it because it's painting with numbers so they literally give you the paint the canvas and it's all like sketched out and dotted out with the numbers on it you know so i love that gift idea i feel like it's really unique and a lot of times you would do that outside by going to like painting with a twist or doing stuff like that so why not just bring it into your house and then also give it as a gift as well okay so next i'm so excited about this one it is cookware so i'm sure you guys are familiar with the always pan by our place and that's really really popular but that's like 150 dollars for a pan and so i found these actually at tj maxx you can get them at marshall's tj maxx home goods the trifecta they all sell them i've seen them at all of those places and they are these pans right here okay it's bright but i'll probably do a close-up I actually own this one I have this and I got this one as well to show you guys but I probably will keep it as well because I am obsessed with them and so what they are are these frying pans and they have skillets pots everything as well what I love is first the aesthetics are so on point it's just this gray color neutral with a wooden handle it's not actually like wood it has that kind of like suede softer material I don't know how to explain it but I love that as well. I love the look of it. And then they also have these things right here so you can easily pour out liquid. And I just feel like they're a really good non-stick pan. They are so non-stick. I definitely notice a difference between these and then the other pans that I have. You guys, I'm trying to make like French omelets and you need a non-stick pan for that. And the closest I've gotten to making it correctly is with this pan. And so this is by the brand Masterclass. Look for this one specifically because if you go to the TJ Maxx's and all that, there's a another company that looks like a country shabby chic brand i don't even know what it's called but it looks identical to this and it's not that one i can't vouch for that one i'm sure it might be similar but i don't know how good that one is you want this one specifically i've seen bloggers post about it too one of my friends actually has it as well and she says she loves them and she's used them for years so i feel like they're gonna last a long time so far i'm loving my pan this is 16.99 for like a larger skillet this one was 9.99 and then they have different pots and pans in like the 20 dollars and less range as well so you can just like get someone a small pan a large pan and a pot and that's like literally under 50 dollars i want to say and then sticking with the whole cooking theme another gift idea that i think is just so so fun again one of those things you don't want to spend money on yourself is cookbooks so one of my all-time favorite cookbooks is the defined dish and this is by alex nodgrass um she's from dallas actually and this is whole 30 indoors i love this cookbook so much you guys just because first of all i feel like the meals are actually practical and delicious things that you want to make and they are really healthy as well so she has a lot of stuff that's like gluten-free dairy-free grain-free paleo whole 30 proof all of that not everything but she'll tell you in each recipe like what they are another one that i have is the malibu farm cookbook i think that again this is sticking true to my california coastal roots this is actually a restaurant in malibu and they have just like really 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 good farm to table type of meals and so again if you want to know how to make more things like that that are healthy this is a good one and then a new one that i recently got and a lot of people get this as a coffee table book but i genuinely wanted to read this this is the kinfolk table and this is for entertaining and gathering and making meals for people and so i specifically am on my cooking journey where i'm like great okay i know how to cook for myself but i really do get anxiety like cooking for other people i just like freak out and don't think that like people are gonna like it or if they're gonna like how i season things or whatever because i'm very specific in the way i like my food and so i just think that this is great to have recipes for small gatherings what i think would be so cute paired with the 
the cookbook is a visa gift card or like a gift card to their favorite grocery store or like a bougie grocery store that they maybe not will shop at like normally because especially if you're starting a new cookbook or like a new health journey for the new year let's say a lot of stuff is expensive in the beginning because you don't have them so i remember when i did whole 30 i didn't have those random ingredients like tapioca flour and you know sesame oil coconut aminos like all of that stuff and so in the very beginning it is a little bit daunting and overwhelming but i think that if you help them on that journey and like get them a gift card so they can actually buy that first grocery shop i think that's so cute okay so moving into clothing the next idea that i have is basic but it's a good old sweater especially during this time it's just nice to have a cozy sweater and just like have really good long sleeve pieces like that I love the sweaters from Free People. And so I was thinking about, okay, what would make a good gift? And I honestly think it would be a Free People sweater. When I look back at all the sweaters I have over the past few years, the ones that I've worn for the most are free people sweaters this one for the season i really love i'll have it linked down below because i don't even remember the name right now they are kind of a little bit more pricey and so again things that you don't really want to spend on yourself i know i wouldn't heck i literally got a job so i can get a discount there you know so um i think it would make such a great gift and i would love to receive it and just as a tip you guys because again i know depending on what budget you have obviously you can get other types of sweaters but if you did want to get a free people one you guys can literally type in the name of the item and then just search it and then you guys can see on google like straight from google where else they have it okay and then still on the clothing train i think that sneakers make a great gift again i'm just really thinking about things that i hate buying for myself <laughs> and so i recommend these adidas sneakers right here i am obsessed with them these are the adidas ultra boost i think they're like 120 dollars now originally 180 but these are a really great lightweight option sneaker and then i also think again you know them you know their personality so if they're not into running and they may be into more loungewear that sneakers are still here to stay you all thought they were gonna go out of style they are still here and i'm getting more so my tried and true ones are the adidas the Adidas Falcons. I am obsessed with these. I love them. I'm clearly an Adidas girl because my feet are kind of wide. And so I just think that they're more comfortable on my toes versus like narrower. Um, but I love those. And then ones I'm actually also eyeing that I don't have yet are the Oswegos. I think they look so cool. I just can't seem to find like the color and the size combination that I want. But those I think are really great options. Okay guys, we are about to get a little bit more intimate now. <laughs> the next gift idea I have are seamless bras. I didn't say regular bras, I didn't say sports bras, I said seamless for a reason because we are in the house. I don't really wear bras in the house, but if you're one of those people that do or just need more or you know, are giving a gift obviously to someone who does, I think that these are really, really great gifts. So these are the seamless bras by True & Co. You guys have probably heard of them. They are really, really famous seamless bras. What's really great too is not only do they have bras on their website, but they also have a line at Target. And I swear the line at Target is like half the price, so like 20 bucks. So I honestly would just go to Target and pick them up. But these are the regular ones. I love this. I wear it all the time. And what's really, really good about this is obviously, number one, it's seamless. It doesn't have an underwire, but also the padding in it just makes it look like a regular bra so you can just wear it under normal shirts blouses tops like anything like that and it doesn't have that sports bra effect where it like squishes your boobs down and is tight you know and then i also have this other one right here which is just a v-neck and it has a thinner strap and these straps are more adjustable i just think it's a really really great idea again something you're not really going to want to buy yourself it's so annoying to buy bras to buy underwear to buy socks like you know and so i would just love to receive that okay so my next gift idea is a devotional set so if you guys know someone who's a christian or is exploring their faith i think such a sentimental gift to give someone is like a bible or a devotional or a journal and so i actually have three options to show you guys my favorite bible i've showed this before but it's the she reads truth bible this one is the champagne gold soft cover they also have hard cover as well and it comes in tons of different colors it's just so readable it reads like a story but then also legitimately i've said this before but down to the font just the way it's one column and it has larger margins so you can take notes on the side and also it's aesthetic i just have to point that out too because i'm sorry i am one of those people if you're gifting someone who is not into the hot pinks and the 
bright colors and they just want like neutral patterns they have that and then i think getting them a devotional with the bible or you know just separately is really cute too this is a devotional by paul david tripp and it's called new morning mercies and what i love about this devotional is that it is pretty challenging in the sense that it makes you think and it's always really applicable to your life and so it's not just like a typical really frou-frou like jesus loves you like which is not bad by any means but it just has so many different topics it mentions injustice it mentions like friendships it mentions so many different categories and it really does make you think and just like think about okay you know what can i take away from this how can i apply it to my life and then last is a daily prayer journal i just think it's a really cool view and it's really short it's just you do that on a page and then you can just knock it out and so kind of sticking with the same theme but like not really i think another gift idea that's really great is to give someone a planner this one is by a black owned business this is alter planning co and this is a annual yearly planner i just love the way it's set up so each day is a column and at the top it just has um, a few lines to do your day's focus and then you also have to do's and goals on the side and you can also put your budget in here as well but then for each day it's just the column and you write down your to-do list and again planners are kind of expensive so anybody trying to spend their own tax paying dollars on that so give it to me as a gift thank you so much you know and i just think that would be a really really good idea too next we have what i think is just a really really sentimental cute gift i think custom jewelry is such an amazing gift and so i'm actually wearing a piece right now that my sister got me for my birthday here let me get closer so you guys <laughs> can see it she gave me this necklace right here it actually is a hebrew necklace it says my name in hebrew which means beloved so you guys this is actually probably the nicest most sentimental gift that i've ever received like shout out to you christabel it was so sweet long story short my name in hebrew means beloved and just you know being a little transparent that is like the one thing i struggle with the most i'm a two on the enneagram and it says my basic fear is being unloved and that is like so true to a T and I remember I was just having a hard time just feeling like distant from people and feeling just like distant from my family like all of that stuff and I was just like god like ah oh, I just don't like this feeling like what's up like you know and he literally spoke to me one time and was just kind of like do you know your name and I was like what chat of God like you know just like yes what are those moments but he's like no 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 do you know your name and I looked up my name and I always thought my name meant like friend or something and I think it does, but it, all, it literally, when I looked it up, it said beloved. And it was one of those moments where you're just like, okay, I see you, I see you, I see you, I'm beloved. You know what I mean? And it was just so sweet. But to me, honestly, like it was just a really cool moment to just know that my name literally means the one thing that I struggle with the most, but that it's just another way to remind me of what's true. And it's literally in my name and it's what my name means, you know? And so I told my sister, I was like, oh my God, I like, it was just such a cool moment. I want to get this necklace. I want to get it in Hebrew. I really didn't think she was paying attention to me for my birthday. She got it. And I was like, how did you like, it was one of those things that was just so cool. And also you guys, it's my first piece of real gold. We live it up because it can't have nice things so i'm so excited this one is the 16 inch one it's from etsy i'll have this specific seller link down below obviously etsy is small businesses so i think it's really great to support that especially during this time okay so those are all of my gift ideas i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you do your holiday shopping if that's what you're doing or to buy gifts for yourself because that's what i'm doing and so Thank you again to Osea for sponsoring this video and you guys seriously check them out. I'll have them linked down below, like I said. And if you want to see more from me, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's at Davina Doncor. I just post a lot of lifestyle stuff, what I'm eating, what I'm doing, all the in-between. So if you guys want to see more, check that out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are staying safe and having a good holiday season. I know it's not the same because of COVID, but there are still so many things to be thankful for. And so definitely use this time to count your blessings and also think about how you can give back, how you can support local businesses, how you can support black businesses. This is obviously a trying time for everyone and we they need our support. So love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.